So when I think about what it means to be a woman of influence, it means that I am empowered. It means that I am a force of agency in my life, in that of my family, my career, in this world. It means that I am setting an example for my daughter, for young women in general, um, but to Latinas in particular. It, it means that I need to be thoughtful about the type of effect that I wanna have because I wanna have a positive impact on others in my family, my organization, and my community. It means that I'm part of a bigger movement that is interested in redefining what it is to be feminine, broadening that definition to include grit and physical strength and business acumen and audacity in terms of being bold. And when I consider what type of unique character traits it takes to break barriers and influence change, it's definitely thick skin. You have to be brave. You have to know that you are likely going to be labeled bitchy when a man might be described as assertive. You have to know that you may be perceived as threatening by men and possibly even some women. You have to know that you're likely to be offered pay. That's just 75 cents on the dollar for the same work done by a man. And I'm not saying that you have to like it or accept it. Quite the contrary. I believe you should note it. Note these things when they happen, label them out loud, document them even. But if you want to be successful, you have to show up. You have to put on that brave face and make a commitment to yourself, to your daughters, to your sisters, that nothing is going to make you shrink down and apologize for your power, for your knowledge, for your expertise, for your voice.